Today I'm going to review Origin Story, A Big History of Everything by David Christian. So this book traces the history of everything from the Big Bang to now, and it's extremely similar to A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. Uh, so I'm going to kind of compare the two books because I think if if you're interested in reading one, you're kind of automatically interested in reading the other book since they're so similar. Uh, but th there's a lot of differences between the two books. So the author of Origin Story, David Christian, he's the co-founder of what's called the Big History Project. It's this kind of multinational effort to create a, a big framework for history that can be taught to students all over the world, whether it's middle school or high school or, or early in college. It's kind of like the big overarching view of everything that's ever happened uh, to kind of give people a perspective for where they are in the world and what's happened before them. Because origin stories connected to academia and like what's going to be taught to students, I think that had a big influence on the way the book was written. Uh, for instance, in uh, A Short History of Nearly Everything, Bill Bryson's book. He spends a lot of time talking about uh, the people that made discoveries, what they were doing, how they made the discoveries. There's a lot of colorful background to the facts and the, the just the, the data of history. And in origin story, David Christian really skips a lot of that stuff and just gives you the facts. And it, it's it feels much more like uh, a, a college lecture or a high school lecture would would feel like that's how the content is delivered. There's not a lot of extraneous data or information or little interesting tidbits. It's very, the, the facts are very bland. It's kind of just straightforward. The book's not really bland. I think that's probably the wrong term to use. It's a good book. I liked Origin Story. I don't want anyone to get the, the view that I didn't like it, but it, it lacked something that I think a short history of nearly everything had. And that's all that the extra stuff, the colorful stuff, the the people and what they're doing and how they interconnected. And a lot of that stuff was my favorite part of Bill Bryson's book. And so it's a little disappointing that none of that is in David Christian's book. Now, I might be a little bit biased here because coming into both of these books, I had already read a lot about history. So I think I knew a lot of the facts or the, the broad facts, I mean, there, there's details that I'm sure I learned in each book, but I, I knew the overarching story. I knew the, the Big Bang and all that stuff because that interested me a lot when I was a kid, really in my teenage years. So I think the colorful part of Bill Bryson's book really was attractive to me because I kind of knew the facts already. So I liked having that extra bit, the extra stuff to talk about. And in Origin Story, I didn't get that, and so it it's a, feels a little bit of a letdown for me. And I think Origin Story could be really great for someone who hasn't really read too much history books before or, or really learned that much about history, because uh, it's, it's so straightforward, and it gives you a really great outline of everything that's happened and a lot of facts and, and all the data you would need. But I think if, if you've read history before and you are interested in that type of book, this type of book, uh, you know, history of everything. Uh, Bill Bryson's book was more engaging. I think for me, a lot of it had to do with all that extra stuff that's in the story. Uh, Bill Bryson's book is quite a bit longer. Uh, I think I calculated that origin story has 305 pages. Bill Bryson's book has 478 pages. So a short history of nearly everything's a bit longer, and I do think the origin story has more facts in it. So you should be able to tell by the different lengths of the books and the fact that the shorter one has more facts that origin story is going to be a very different type of book. Another difference between these books is that origin story talked a lot more about the recent history, like the modern world. Bill Bryson kind of gets up to the modern world and then the book kind of is over there and it a short history of nearly everything really does focus on, on the past a lot more. Origin story, you kind of get into the, the 19th and 20th century, and you spend a lot of time there. And at the end of origin story, the author kind of goes into the future a little bit and talks about 
what's going on in the world now and where things are going. And this part of the book I thought really wasn't very good. He spends a lot of time kind of giving a kind of political view of the world. I mean, he talks about climate change, which is great or fine. I mean, everyone's talking about it. But he also, he kind of gives a negative view of economic progress, almost like economic progress is tied to the destruction of the world or, or the climate. And that he kind of thinks that it's it's something that we need to, to move away from. And it's kind of a negative ending to the book. It's very different from a book like uh, The Beginning of Infinity by David Deutsch or Steven Pinker's new book, Enlightenment Now, where they have a really positive view of the ability of humans to overcome challenges and make progress towards goals. Uh, this book kind of has like a very negative view of a lot of human society, at least the way we we go towards achievement and it kind of suggests that we should stop working so hard and just kind of lounge around and like read books. It bothered me that it was so negative about human progress because I've read a lot of books that are have a very different view of human progress and that's definitely the camp I'm in. That might be a bias I have, but I really I'm excited by technology and, and progress and the increasing capabilities of humans to manipulate the world. Of course, that could be used for bad as well as good, but I think that it'll probably be used for more good in the future. You know, sci-fi kind of things where we're terraforming planets and, and spreading life beyond the planet. Those are things that are really interesting to me. And this book kind of pushes people in a different direction of, uh, you know, thinking that maybe we should slow progress down, which is something that I didn't like at all. And... It was a little strange to have it in a book that is a big history of the of everything. Uh, it seems kind of out of place, but if you put this book in the in the uh, setting of academics and kind of that world, a lot of these things, uh, a lot of those viewpoints, are pretty common in academia, colleges, and and places like that, especially in social sciences and those kinds of areas, but. I mean, that's not enough to dislike the book. I still liked the book. It's good up until that last chapter. It's like, it is, it's only one chapter in the book, but it is there and I didn't like that. Um, so between Bill Bryson's book and David Christian's book, uh, Short History of Nearly Everything and Origin Story, I would recommend A Short History of Nearly Everything more than Origin Story. But I think for a certain reader, Origin Story might be... Uh, a more attractive book just because it's shorter and there's more facts in it that if you're if you're looking for, for that type of information origin story is a more efficient way to get there but for most people I would suggest a short history of nearly everything over origin story but if you read a short history of nearly everything and you really liked it and you want more uh, you can go pick up origin story and get a, a little bit different perspective but it, overall it's a very similar type of book so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've got more reviews coming soon. So like, subscribe, and stick around. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.